Hello friends, this is Growl, and welcome to Waffle Cat Weekly number 44, where we open our boxes, we talk about the affixes, and talk about other stuff that's going on. Uh, before we start, I do want to say a couple of the weekly things. It is not a spark week, so we will not be getting a spark today. I believe we got one last week. Um, it is also, there's been some rumors that there is the Catalyst coming out today to make tier pieces. As far as I know, the Catalyst is next week. So next week we'll get another crafted piece and we'll be able to make tier stuff, but that is not this week. All right, well, I managed to secure a weekly on every single character, including a 20 on my Miss Weaver, and I believe 18s or better on every other guy, as long as, uh, or, or as well as our big uh, usual druid and evoker box. So let us jump right in. Let's check our loot specs because we've been doing some shenanigans lately. Uh, Noni could definitely use a weapon. We're just getting to the point where we can probably start um, tanking or uh, getting into 20s soon on our alts. Oh boy. So it's a crit mastery avoidance socketed ring. Uh, definitely going to take it. It's a little annoying. Um, when you take rings that you don't have the stats that you like, you tend to be very clunky statted for a long time. So it's unfortunate that this doesn't have any haste on it, but um, hmm. this is really haste heavy. I almost want to swap it with this, but no, nah, we'll just uh, we'll stick to item level. We'll throw a haste gem in there and a haste enchant and call it a day. Yeah, unfortunately, our haste dips quite a bit, but we do gain some item level and this is a very nice, uh, nice ring. I'm sure somebody somewhere wants this, just not our paladin. All right, next. We will go to our Miss Weaver, which is a 20 box. You know, Miss Weaver, pretty easy to heal 20 keys, even even under geared. You know, I very easily healed Shadow Moon Burial Grounds 21. So you know, let's see what kind of reward we get. We're hoping for a weapon for sure. Uh, we have a 395 weapon on this guy, which isn't too, too bad. We also have some pretty dang junky trinkets. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. All of our alt gear is pretty junky. Let us... Check our loot spec. All right, Miss Weaver. And Hide of Fenrir. So this is a 421 chest, and this will be very nice. Even though um, it's not a tier piece, we will be able to turn this into a tier piece very soon. So if you see these 421 items, um, definitely grab these in opportunities that you can. So we're going to grab this. We're going to get a new enchant again. Hopefully we show. Oh, no, we're being DM'd already. He's, uh, can't right now. Sorry, friend. We got boxes to open. Uh, waking stats. I should have stayed on my mountain. All right, so we have a 421 chest. We'll be able to tier this, which will be nice. And for now, go bam. So Prodigy slowly rising, 392. All right, on to our Shaman. I don't know. All right, let me hear what you guys have to say about alts, if you have any strong opinions. I feel like on one hand, if you aren't happy with your character and you want to like pick up a new character and put a lot of time into it the way crafting works is awesome like if you're doing keys on a guy you can make gear really quick you can make like very high level gear multiple pieces it's a little expensive but it's you know if you want to invest that time and money into the character you can and gear it up really quick the problem is I, for alts that i don't really care about that i just sort of like want to play for fun now and then i feel like it's just it's too brutal like i don't want to spend all that money i don't want to spend all that time to do all these keys and in turn it feels actually kind of tough for alts but maybe i guess it's the same as it was before okay i was opening as elemental i think that's fine i don't know if i really want another dps trinket though um yeah whatever if it happens, it happens. I don't think there's too many good healing trinkets from dungeons is the problem. Called Daris of Infused Earth. So we got a 418 tier shoulders on our shaman. So now I think we have like one tier piece on every guy. Which is pretty sweet. 
What did it upgrade? Was that just all oh, indestructible? Bummer. All right. Well, we got some new. Oop. We got some new shoulders. We got one of our tier pieces. Bam. So yeah, like let's say let's say a patch comes out, or I just have really have fun with a class, and I really want to start playing it. I feel like the, the crafting system is great, and I can gear it up so so fast, just doing keys or doing whatever, like playing whatever I want. But I feel like right now all my alts are just in purgatory. Like I basically don't even like. I can't really play them, or I don't want to play them. I don't know. I can't really, can't really put my finger on exactly how I feel about the alt situation. But like, I'm doing one key a week, a 16 plus, and I only have four primal focus or five primal focus or whatever of my guys. Uh, okay, we have a weapon on this guy. This is our one of our few guys that has a weapon. We have very very junky trinkets that we would like to replace. But instead, we have a 415 shoulder, which is be which is replacing a 343 shoulder. So this will definitely be welcome. And we will also be able to tier this as well. So this is another potential tier item that if we decide that we want to. So another nice item level. Again, alt slowly rising. Getting to the point now where they should be able to do 20s comfortably, uh, depending on the week. All right, we'll skip our druid for a sec. We'll hop over to our evoker. Our druid is actually going to have less of a um less of an exciting box as it normally does. Uh, we only needed one resto druid for Razageth, and I uh, decided it would be cool if I was sat. I let our other resto druid go ahead. Um, or he's better than me, and that's how they that's that's how they pitched it. But either way, um. So I'm, I'm basically done with raid now on my druid, and so he got as many farm boxes as he could to make sure he could get gear. So I think I got like two boxes, uh, only one slot on my druid for raid, which will be a little unlucky, but oh well. We'll be able to catch that guy up again with raid uh, soon. Okay, so our evoker. We have this staff, so it makes me really not super excited about a weapon. Uh, I probably would take a 421 weapon over this, uh, at least healing-wise it should be better. Um, one thing I really want to replace is this trinket is really junky, and I also need tier pieces. I do have a really nice 418, um, chest, as well as 421 legs. So the pieces that I have are very good. I don't have any junk from, like, LFR or whatever. Uh, so hopefully we can continue this. We should have three normal boxes, uh, or three M plus boxes and three, um, heroic raid boxes from a heroic raid pug we did. I'm actually gonna open this as Devastation. My main, ooh, or do I want Brood Keepers? So a lot of people ask me, do I open as healer or DPS spec? And this uh, current season, the question is, do you want Brood Keepers or do you want a DPS trinket from M plus? And right now, let's say I probably want a DPS trinket from M plus a little bit more. Since I already have an incarnate icon, which is a pretty good like support team trinket, I would definitely love to use an art incarnate plus a DPS trinket, uh, at least some of the time. So we will switch to devastation spec and hopefully get a feather or something. Let's see what we get. Bam. Okay, no feather. Ooh, this doesn't look super exciting here. A little worried about this one. Um, okay, so we have a offhand that's 408 junk, 402 trinket junk, and a staff that we already have junk, uh, legs that we already have uh, junk, 421 neck junk, and a 421 shoulder. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this 421 shoulder and we will be able to tier this next week. So this is sort of like getting tier shoulders except for... Uh, for a little bit of a delay which that's okay if this was a 421 to your shoulder i'd be excited about this so i'm definitely not going to complain and it basically is and so now we only need to get either the tier gloves or the tier helm from uh raid this week but we won't get either because our guy never gets tier pieces all right not a bad outcome not a crazy outcome but as we get later on in the season it gets harder and harder to get a crazy outcome when our gear gets pretty good all right last box our druid 
Let's take a look at exactly what we need. As far as I know, our gear is getting pretty crazy on this guy. So, some of the things that we would like to see on our Druid. Uh, not talents. Are, um, I wouldn't mind a Mythic Broodkeeper's Trinket or a Mythic Incarnate Icon. Those are two trinkets that I would really like to get, which probably means I'm going to be going healer loot spec for this box um we need a high level tier gloves we need 421 gloves uh we don't it doesn't even need to be tier because we can catalyze it soon other than that um the only really big upgrade is belt or cape and those are pretty small too so hmm. all right well here goes nothing See what we got. Ooh, I don't see any ex oh okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's look at what we got here. Wow, interesting. So 411 tier helm, but this this is junk. Now we have the 421 tier gloves. This is a Pretty big upgrade. This is an 81 in 75 off uh, secondary stat upgrade. 30 item levels almost. And then this is 424 bracers. A 421 offhand, which technically is bis. However, we need to get the 424 weapon from Razageth first. And we've already seen this pop up in our box several times. I'm actually not too worried about grabbing this. Now we have 421 crit haste gloves and a 421 crit haste ring. So I think the go-to here for sure is to take the gloves. Um, this is not you. This is the same thing, but worse. Uh, we don't necessarily need this ring. Um, yeah, I think this is a no-brainer here. We grab the gloves. We take the nice stat upgrade. Bam. Um, and equip. There it is. So now we're 417. We have finished our full tier set. Three of the pieces are 421. Uh, this piece is only 415. So we may have to work on trying to get this up. But yeah, those are all of our boxes. So let's take a look at the affixes this week. We have tyrannical. Sanguine, Explosive, Thundering. Ah, <sighs> look, you know, I was happy at the beginning of the season when we removed Inspiring and we removed Necrotic, and I'm just like, yay, no more of these miserable tank affixes. But then what happens is every single week feels like it's a healer affix. Every single week feels like it's either Explosive or Grievous or Bursting or sometimes two of the three, and man we can't get a break we really really can't get a break um explosive is probably one of my least favorite affixes it's just very very frustrating it requires a lot of globals and you just have to kill them luckily in quite a few of these dungeons i wouldn't say there's like any really giga big pulls however i can see some moments where explosives might be hard for example, um, the second boss of Azure Vaults, Tyrannical and Explosive might be miserable when the, all the ads spawn, sort of like uh, some of the other ad fight bosses in previous expansions, like uh, Miss of Tirna Scythe, second boss, or the last boss in Temple in BFA. Um, or like last boss of Jade Serpent when all the ads spawn. I can only imagine if you get like four explosive spawns instantly, that's going to be really, really nasty. So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely not, it's not the worst week, but definitely not the best week. Probably pretty solidified, like, in the middle or middle to bad category. That being said, again, you know, we're still early-ish in the expansion, and everybody's gearing up and getting new gear. People are just getting their four sets, and uh, so every week is kind of a push week. I'm sure you'll see some decent keys done this week. Uh, one question about explosive a lot of people ask me is, you know, whose job is it? 
is it the healer's job? Um, and the short answer is, in a very organized group, it's the healer's job. However, when you're in a pug, like, you just have to kill them. You know, like, if you're in a pug and you just refuse to hit explosives the whole time and you just will blow up over and over again, you know, that's that's no good either. So, a lot of times in, in pugs, it's more kind of a free-for-all and everybody contributes. But, ultimately, when you're trying to go fast, the healer's buttons are going to be the least damaging and therefore, you know, have the healer spend his buttons on the explosives. Uh, every healer has a decent way to kill explosives, some sort of instant cast. I would say Pally is probably the least good at explosives. And uh, any healer with a long-ranged instant cast like Druid or Shaman is uh, very, very good. But, yeah, that is that. And my inventory is a mess. Uh, other than that, I've been streaming a little bit more lately, starting to get back on the normal schedule. And by normal, I mean my schedule is insanely chaotic. But I want to start streaming more again, so you may have to uh, follow me on Twitch and lurk a little bit to find me. My hours are very strange, but we'll get back to normalcy at some point. I'm hoping to kind of get uh, the squad back together to push some live keys once everybody is done with raid and they get their character geared the way they want. And when that's the case, I'm sure we'll be normal-ish schedule as well. Uh, yeah, but that's it. Just same old, same old. Uh, hoping to start youtube videos again that i say every week but it's really hard with my chaotically terrible sleep but it is what it is we'll fix it not too worried anyway thanks for watching friends i appreciate you guys i wish you guys good luck in your vaults as well or uh hopefully you had good luck if you've already opened them thanks for watching friends and uh happy keying